You know, I had a, uh, <laughs> a childhood in a different era from all of you. I was an asthmatic child, so I was stuck in bed a lot. I couldn't go out and play with my friends very often. I couldn't sleep because I was struggling for breath. So what do I do? I'm sitting awake, well into the night, my eyes open, unable to breathe easily. Books were the only thing I had. There was no television in India those days. Obviously computers didn't exist, no personal computers existed. No mobile telephones, no handheld devices, no Nintendo, no PlayStation. Books were my education, books were my escape, books were my entertainment. So from a very young age, I read copiously. And that's why I came across so many words and absorbed a lot of them. I think it may be more difficult today for someone to exclude all the other distractions. Even for myself, I find it uh, tempting sometimes to just catch up on my messages on my phone than to sit down with a good book. But in those days, there was no option. It was only the books. And through that, I was able to dramatically improve my, my vocabulary. And I would say for that reason, I didn't suffer too much, the pain that you describe. But any good writer will always spend some time searching for the right word or the right way to express an idea. I'm sure all of us have had the experience of writing something and feeling on rereading it, that's not quite right. I need to change that word. Or this sentence I should cancel and write it in a different way. That happens to all of us. So, um, so uh, I would say the important thing is you should write in the language that comes most naturally to you. In my case, it happened to be English. I was born in London, grew up in Bombay, high school in Calcutta, college in Delhi. Um, I never lived or studied in Kerala. So I wasn't um, dominated by my mother tongue. If I had grown up in Kerala, possibly I'd be writing in Malayalam because that would have been my instinctive language. The language in which I played with my friends, the language in which I chased girls, all of those things would be the language uh, that becomes your instinctive language. Ultimately, that's what you write in. In my case, it happened to be English. But because of that, that became the language of my easiest expression. And I would say to all of you that if, if indeed you find that your education forces you to write in English, but you're most comfortable in Malayalam, there is absolutely no harm, no shame, no embarrassment in writing your most important creative ideas in your own mother tongue. The rare is the person like an Ubi Vijayan who went to an English medium school till he was 12 years old and then taught himself Malayalam and became a great Malayali writer. That is not always possible for everyone. Once you have settled into a language, uh, once I said to somebody who asked me a question, why do you write English? I said, look, you don't really choose a language. The circumstances of your life mean that a language chooses you. And in my case, the one language I took with me everywhere happened to be English, and so that became my language. If you've had the advantage of being born in a Malayali household, growing up in Kerala, surrounded by Malayalis, that may be your instinctive language. Be proud of it and write in it. I have no difficulty. And then don't feel that your English has to be perfect because you can always tell people, look, it's my second language. By the way, most of the world today that you'll be functioning with in the real world are people who use English as a second language. So when you're dealing with Germans and Dutch and French and Russians and so on, in English, you're not using their language either. Why should you be embarrassed if your English isn't perfect? I always tell people, let's not set ourselves impossible standards. But if English is your first language, if your Malayalam is worse than your English, then you have no excuse not to perfect it. So then you better work harder, read more, write more, and improve your command of your own language.